Welcome back. Makeup connoisseurs are all about the lifted look these days. So Tracy P is here to share some easy techniques to get the look. Yes, Tracy. So I want to start with brows. So on one side of the face, I've done a look where it's not really where you're trying to lift your brows and lift the face. And the other side, it is. Can you guess which one it is? <laughs> okay, this side. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing here with the monitor. This side's yeah. lifted. Yeah. Right? Let's all cover it. Yeah, got it right. I got it right. <laughs> this is our model, Shamiza, by the way. So thank you. Okay, so what a lot of people do wrong is that they do like a big block of an eyebrow, right? Yes. It's, it's dark, and what that does is it gets heavy. It also weighs the eye down, brings everything down. Mm -hmm. See here at the end of the tail mm -hmm. how it comes down? I see this all the time. Mm -hmm. Women draw it all the way down. Yeah. That closes up the face like yeah. this, and it also pulls down the face as well. So what we want to do is you want to get something like this. It's called a spoolie. Mm -hmm. You and taught you, me that. Yes. <laughs> so it's all called a spoolie. If you don't have one, if you have a mascara that you're running out of, um, wash the, the yeah. handle of the, the mascara and yeah. use that as your spoolie, okay? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to brush upwards and outwards always. That instantly is going to, that alone is going to lift the brow. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to make sure that you're doing, you're doing light feathery strokes and you're going to cheat a little bit just on top. Okay. okay. So if, especially if you have a lot of real estate on the forehead like yes. I have. And so do right? I. <laughs> so you can cheat a little bit. If you're somebody whose hairline is uh, further down, don't overly cheat because then your eyebrow is going to meet your hairline. It's going to be a problem. Yeah. We're not looking for that, right? So you're just going to cheat a little bit, a little bit higher. And then really what the key is, is the arch. Okay. okay, so the art should always be three thirds, oh, sorry, three quarters mm -hmm. of the way in your eye, all right? So right about here, that's when your art should be. And you want to exaggerate it just ever so slightly. You don't want to overly do it because then you're going to look like Spock. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're not going for that look no. or you're going to look constantly surprised all day. Like, oh like, my God. We're not going, oh my God, I'm not, not going for that. No. Okay, you say also that concealer placement is key. How would you apply for a lifted look? And by the way, if you're looking for the lifted look, this is for you. If you don't want the lifted look, you ignore it all. Yeah, just it's ignore all good. it all if you don't want to lift face, it face, it's fine. Okay, so that. the mistake that a lot of people make is they take the concealer, and I won't do this to her right now, but yeah. they take it and they put it all underneath That's the eye. That's what I do. That's what a lot of women do, and right? that's wrong. That's wrong. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Because what it does is um, it emphasizes, it puts too much emphasis here as well as it drags the face yes. down. So what you want to do, the right thing to do is you just want to put it in the inner corner of the eye right here. Uh -huh. And then also in the outer corner of the eye right there. And you're just going to stipple it like this. Why you do it in the inner um, corner, Tracy, is because that's usually where it's the darkest. Okay. Okay, so you're just going to continue to work your way out. Now, the concealer that I'm using here, this is uh, the London Rimmel uh, Concealer. Mm -hmm. And this one is called the Multitasker Concealer. That's what we need. Yes, so that's what we need. It is very buildable. That's what I like about it, Tracy. Mm -hmm. It also is, has a lot of pigment to it. So you don't need a lot of product. Okay. And stippling like this, it's because you're just pushing it into the skin. When you do this wiping motion like this, all you're doing is wasting product and you're actually just removing what you're doing. You're just wasting time. And what you want to make sure you're doing is you're going in an upward motion like this with your concealer. And you see what that does. It just gives That's you a beautiful. little bit of a lift. Yeah, perfectly blend in. Okay. Can we talk eyeliner? Yes, we can talk eyeliner, okay? So the mistake that a lot of people make mm -hmm. is, and I understand why, they follow the eye all the way to the end, but mm -hmm. our eyes turn down, down. at the bottom, yes. right? So if we can just take a look on what we did on this side. Yes. It turns all the way down, so when she opens, it pulls the eye down, right? right? We're not trying to do that, right? Okay. So you wanna give a little bit of a lift. So mm -hmm. what we're gonna do, I'm using right now the Quo uh, Beauty Liquid Precision Marker. Okay. So what we're going to do is if you have a, uh, like, a, I'd say a larger eye, uh, like us, <laughs> mm -hmm. we got big eyes. then you can start all the way from the inner corner and go all the way out. But if you have a smaller eye or a hooded eye, yeah. I would say start halfway through the eye when you're doing your eyeliner, just so you don't have so much going on. So what you're going to do right here is then you're going to stop, mm -hmm. open your eyes, and turn this way, do a little bit of a kick. Kick it up. Kick it up like this. Oh. Okay. Now, yeah. don't worry. It's not going to be perfect in the beginning. Yeah. And with your little kick, then what you're going to do is draw another line uh -huh. above it and marry the two lines like this. Oh. And then fill it in. Oh, I see. And then you're giving it a lift. 
lift. I'm giving it a little bit of a lift. If yes. you can turn around, look. Giving it a bit of a lift, yes. okay? Lovely. So you see immediately how it's lifted up. Very good. Okay, we're going to move on to eyelashes now uh, because they can also, they can make a difference. They can make a difference. Yeah. So big deal is curling the lashes. Yeah. Now I know this little scary device. Very everybody's, scary. Everybody's very scared of it. Yeah. But she's not scared of it. Okay, okay good, because I hurt myself. <laughs> so what you want to do when you're doing it first, before you want to tilt your head back just a little bit, because yeah. if you're tilting forward and then you try to put the, the, the lash here, the curler here, it's hard to get at it. But if you tilt mm -hmm. just a little bit back, you have a little bit more access to the eye. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is do it at the base of the lash. You're gonna hold it for 10 seconds and you can pump it a little oh, bit if you, you want like that. <laughs> She's like, good for yeah, you. Yeah, she did it right. Hold it for 10 seconds. Uh -huh. If you have short lashes like us and they barely get through the other end of the curler, yeah. um, just do it once. If you have longer lashes, you're gonna move it up halfway, then do another 10 seconds, move, move it, it up, up again. again, do another 10 seconds, because that creates a nice curve. Yes. If you have longer lashes and you do that, you're just gonna get a check mark if you just do yes. the like, you know, the check mark effect if you just do it at the base. Yeah. And then you always wanna make sure that you put on the mascara. And I have a beautiful full one here called, um, it's from B Beauty and it's the XL, XL Mascara. Mm -hmm. So this, um, this vitamin rich formula, Tracy, it's really going to um, adhere to the lashes from the base all the way to the tip of the lashes. It really gives you full volume separation. You got long lashes, girl. Length uh -huh. and lift, of course. Very nice. T, thanks so much. You always have the best tips. And you can see this side is completely lifted. We're going to break. Stay with us. More coming up, everybody.